Imagine yourself knowing the location and having seen a $20 billion treasure, but not being able to recover it. This is a real story that we will uncover today. Beneath the waves of the Caribbean Sea, shrouded in mystery and guarded by the silent sentinels of the deep, lies a treasure so vast, so legendary, that it has become the stuff of lore and the object of dreams for treasure hunters the world over. This is the story of the San Jose, a Spanish galleon that met its watery grave over three centuries ago, taking with it a treasure so immense that it has sparked a modern-day battle not with swords or cannons, but with legal briefs and diplomatic posturing. The San Jose was no ordinary ship. It was part of the treasure fleet, a convoy system adopted by the Spanish crown to protect its precious cargo from pirates and privateers. Its holds were filled with gold, silver, emeralds and pearls, a trove amassed from the mines and treasuries of the New World, destined for the coffers of the Spanish Empire. But fate, as it often does, had other plans. On June 8, 1708, during the War of the Spanish Succession, the San Jose found itself embroiled in a fierce battle with a British squadron off the coast of Cartagena in present-day Colombia. The engagement was brutal, and the San Jose, heavily laden and less maneuverable, was at a disadvantage. In the heat of battle, a deadly explosion tore through the galleon, sending it to the ocean floor along with its crew and priceless cargo. For centuries, the San Jose lay undisturbed, its location a secret swallowed by the sea. Treasure hunters and historians could only speculate about the riches that lay within its hull. The estimated value of its cargo, adjusted for today's economy, is said to be in the billions of dollars. But it wasn't until 2015 that the world would come to know that the San Jose was no longer just a legend. The Colombian government announced that the wreck had been found, lying more than 600 meters beneath the surface, its location kept a closely guarded secret to protect it from looters. The discovery set off a frenzy of excitement and a whirlwind of controversy. Who owns the treasure of the San Jose? Is it the Colombian government, who found the wreck in their territorial waters? Is it Spain, the original owner of the galleon and its cargo? Or could it be the descendants of the crew, or even the indigenous peoples from whom the treasure was originally extracted? The legal and ethical questions surrounding the San Jose are as deep and murky as the waters she rests in. Colombia claims the wreck as part of its underwater cultural heritage, citing the UNESCO Convention on the Protection of the Underwater Cultural Heritage, which it has ratified. Spain, however, invokes the principle of sovereign immunity, which holds that warships sunk in battle are the perpetual property of the nation they served. The battle for the San Jose's treasure is not just about money. It's about history, sovereignty, and the legacy of colonialism. The treasure is a tangible link to the past, a reminder of the vast trade networks that once spanned the globe and the human cost of empire. It is a symbol of the cultural and material exchanges that have shaped our world, for better or worse. But let's not forget the treasure itself. The San Jose's cargo is said to include 200 tons of gold, silver, and precious gems, a king's ransom lost to the deep. The Colombian government, eager to assert its rights, has made plans to recover the treasure. But the process is fraught with challenges, both technical and legal. The depth of the wreck, the fragility of the artifacts, and the need to preserve the site for archaeological study all complicate the endeavor. Meanwhile, Spain watches closely, ready to assert its claims at any sign of the treasure being disturbed. And then there are the treasure hunters, those swashbuckling adventurers who see the San Jose as the ultimate prize. They circle like sharks, drawn by the scent of gold, their dreams fueled by the possibility of untold riches. But they too are held at bay by the legal wrangling and the formidable technological challenges 
of deep sea recovery. The saga of the San Jose is a modern day treasure hunt with a twist. As the governments of Colombia and Spain negotiate, the treasure of the San Jose remains locked in its watery vault. The galleon, once a symbol of Spanish might and wealth, now serves as a reminder of the perils of the sea and the transience of power.